We really need to strengthen this window. The fixtures are out for the English Premier League season and it doesn't look too great. everybody welcome into another episode of Arsenal Fan Circle if you're new to the channel stake your claim hit that subscribe button and you'll be well on your way to the first team well folks I am looking at our fixtures for this coming season and it doesn't make for a good reading uh, like I said in the intro we need to strengthen this window um, because I can't see where this team's going to get on a run um, Let's go through them. And I've put together some points for each month. I'm gonna go month by month. And my total is 71 points. Obviously in a season, everything can happen. Anything can happen. Things can get better. Here we go, let's get right into it. In August, we go away from home to Newcastle. And that might be a good fixture to get out of the way right off the bat before the new owners if there are new owners uh, strengthened too much. Then we play at home to Burnley, away to Liverpool, and a North London derby on the 31st of August versus Tottenham, which is going to be tasty. I'm predicting three wins out of those four games. We need to beat Newcastle, Burnley, and Spurs at home. I don't hold much hope for Liverpool at Anfield, to be honest. Uh, into September, we have three games. Watford away from home, Villa at home, and Manchester United away from home. I'm predicting uh, four out of nine points there. Uh, I think we can beat Villa at home and draw versus Watford and probably lose at Old Trafford. Uh, into October, and we have three games in October. Bournemouth at home, Sheffield away, and Palace at home. Predicting three wins there. Uh, won't be easy, but we do need to get three wins. Bournemouth at home, Sheffield away, and Palace at home. Into November. Now, in November, I've um, garnered six to nine points for these four games. Wolverhampton Wanderers at home. Leicester away from home, which we were terrible at last season. And Southampton at home, and Norwich away from home. We could get anything to from two to three wins out of those four games. I think Leicester away from home is going to be very difficult. Uh, diving into December, we have, this is going to be, December is a tough, tough month for us. We have six games in the month of December. And we'll be crossing, uh, in December, we'll be crossing the halfway point. So, Brighton at home, um, a team that we struggled. And if you have an opportunity, go see my uh, vlog of the Brighton game a few months, a month back or two. Uh, it's Brighton at home, West Ham away from home, City at home. Uh, City will be kind of a marquee game. Let's see where we can, if we can uh, measure up to the champions. Um, hopefully we'll have new signings in that we can take those on, take that game on and see where we are. It's like a marker as, of, as opposed to last season versus City. Moving on, Everton away from home. Bournemouth away from home. That's the halfway point. And then we finish December with Chelsea at home. So out of those six games, I'm getting and um, three wins out of those six games. I think would be Brighton, uh, Bournemouth, and probably one of the other four games. So that's nine points out of 18 for December. <coughs> Moving into 2020, 2000, and 20. Um, January, four games there. Manchester United at home on the 1st of January. Palace away from home. Sheffield at home. And Chelsea away from home. Predicting seven points from those four games. Um, Chelsea, well, my birthday is the 23rd of January. So I'm really hoping that uh, we can get a win versus Chelsea away from home, which we really should have gotten at Stamford Bridge. Moving into February, we have four games. Burnley away from home, Newcastle at home, Everton at home, and Manchester City away. 
So I'm predicting we really need to get uh, three wins out of those four. Uh, Burnley away, Newcastle at home, Everton at home. That's for nine points out of 12 for February. Moving into March, three games in March. West Ham at home, Brighton away, Southampton away. I'm predicting two wins out of those three games. Um, Southampton away will be probably the tricky one. Into April, and we're coming to, into the uh, the run-in again, <laughs> which we failed miserably uh, last season. Norwich at home, Wolves away, Leicester at home, Spurs away. North London Derby, 25th of April. Mark your calendar there. I'm predicting seven points out of 12. Um, um, Wolves away from home will be tricky and Spurs away from home will be tricky and we have to improve our away record we have to get new players in that's going to improve our new away record uh, the final three games in May and the end of the se end of the season is the 17th of May somehow uh, two weeks later in the season than last season weird um, Liverpool at home that will be a good game to test ourselves. Who knows where we're going to be. Hopefully we're fighting for a top four spot then. Aston Villa away from home. And Watford at home. I have six out of nine points for that. We could probably do a little bit better than that. Maybe seven out of nine. Uh, but my optimistic take was uh, 71 points in, to add all those things up. Um, obviously we need to improve a little bit more. Uh, we do... Looking at the fixtures, um, I can't see where we're going to get on a run where we can go 20, 22 games unbeaten again, which is probably not the worst thing as well. But we do do need to uh, strengthen in this window, and it's paramount that we uh, fortify the team with some decent players that can bet in. Uh, we're going to have a difficult um, September and a really difficult December. Um, but let me know what you all think about the fixtures down there. And uh, yeah, take a look at a video that I did um, earlier or yesterday. But until uh, next time, I will talk to you guys later.